Everyone has to make sure that they understand what consent means. Yes. Um, you know, people have to talk about these things and ask people, are you okay with this type of greeting? Yeah. Right. In my culture, this is how we say hello. Are you comfortable with that? Does this make you uncomfortable? Yeah. And I think having a conversation with someone saves everybody a lot of trouble. Let's talk about that. Yes. Because I think that that's very important, right? People like make these jokes about the sexual assault thing and they're like, oh, so I guess I'm just supposed to ask every person like right before I have sex with them, should we have sex? Right. Or whatever the case may be. And I tell my homeboys like, I've been telling them for years now. I'm like, yeah, you should. You should literally tell a woman. You actually should make her text you that she would like to have sex with you this night on this date. Y'all should just have the conversation. Like, don't even, don't, why play with it, right? Because it's just like, you can, like, go with the vibe, right, and the energy, and she could just have a whole different vibe of energy in her head and on her mind. And now she's making you feel like you did something to her that you never want to feel like you ever would do to anyone. And if it's just in writing, right, or it's just like you've had a conversation about it, you verbally have agreed. And I, but personally, I tell my homeboys and what I would tell my son is make her write on a text, like text her, just not, not make her, but text her, text about it. Text tonight. Paper trail. Yeah, paper trail. Please cover your own ass because we we don't we can't be playing these games, right? Let her say, I can't wait to have sex with you tonight. Yup. Make her like not make her say that, but mm -hmm. um allow her to say that in text message. Have those conversations. Sext. Do all the things you need to do before you actually get into that bedroom with that girl. Mm -hmm. Because you just want to make sure the consent is just clear and not nuanced at all. Yeah. Your son ain't getting no cheeks like that. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Don't get cheeks unless they're consensual, very clear consensual cheeks. But consent and intent because you're talking to this girl, you have the intention of having sex with her. So consent is one thing, but like if if I have the intentions of having sex with you, but those aren't your intentions, then that's where like even if I think you gave consent, then you tell me you didn't. Yeah. And that's where people aren't honest in conversations and relationships. Like, these are my intentions here. Yeah. And yeah. what are your intentions? What do you want from this? And, you know, like, that's what opens the door to being able to have a consensual conversation is, these are my intentions with you. This yeah. is what I want to do. Yeah. But people aren't that blunt. No, at all. It's so funny because I, I just want to say this really quickly. So add a little humor to this conversation um, or maybe just vulgar. <laughs> I don't know. But I was leaving that like me and my uh, boyfriend were talking about this conversation before I came here today. And uh, we were talking about taking a girl out to dinner or and her ordering a lot of food or like whatever. I was oh, like, God. yeah, you ever seen them? Um, Mean where they were talking about um, you don't want to have sex after you just ate a, a pound of dead shrimp and all this stuff. Like, we're having this conversation. He was like, yeah, I definitely had some girls that I took out and they was ordering off the sex side of the menu. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, yo, shut up. He was like, yeah, like, it's okay if you don't want to have sex tonight, but just order off the no sex tonight side of the menu. And I was like, yo. Well, that's why he needs to be with his intent. He, this is the sex side, side of the, of the menu. menu. <laughs> I said, I like that. I feel like men should do that. Like, look, if we have a sex tonight, you could order this <laughs> over here. But if we're not, it's fine. But just order from here. But then for you, is her ordering from that side consent? Well, if we've had the conversation. Right. That's funny. <laughs> right. But, but, uh, but, but, you know, <laughs> but no. If someone, if you tell someone, first of all, I can't even imagine a realistic scenario. <laughs> Where someone would say to someone, let's go on a date. Yeah. There are two sides to the menu. <laughs> one side is for casual conversation. One side is for sex. Okay. I can't imagine someone saying that. I think we should get there. Right? But if someone were to say that, it would be consent in that moment. Mm -hmm. But not necessarily. But Later. It, it doesn't carry on, right? Because yeah. consent can be withdrawn at, at any time. Yeah. So if the person says, okay, if you're telling me to... Uh, if I, if I order from this side of the menu, yeah. then that means I consent. And the person who orders from that side of the menu, yeah, that consent can be withdrawn at any time. Right. That's, right? Mm -hmm. But again, that's just really you know a ridiculous situation that would never happen in real life. This, I right? think it should. <laughs> I literally think it should. I think the problem is that we're, we're too antiquated in our thinking mm -hmm. in these moments, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why we're getting into these situations where we're like, we don't, there's too much nuance in what's consent and what's not consent because we're just not bluntly saying we are here to have sex. Do you agree to that? Yes or no? And you're correct. A lot of men do not understand that a woman can be naked 
you can actually not to be too, super vulgar, but this is a little vulgar. You can be inside of her, and well, she can wow. say, "I actually don't want to do this anymore, and you need to remove yourself from being with inside of her, and you need to, you need to dismiss yourself from the situation." Yes, but just like how he said that. The conversation in the restaurant, how often is it that you're in the midst of something, your feelings change and you verbalize it? Most times, more than, you, more times you don't than you do. Yeah, because you feel bad. And then that's bad. where, like, to me, I withdrew consent, but I didn't verbalize it, so yeah. he didn't know. And yeah. now we're on this slippery slope of, I feel violated, do I tell someone? And if I do, are they going to believe me because I never told him no? Right. Even though, like, you could be crying. Right. You could be, like, extroverted and then, like, introverted. And, yeah. Like, but they're not picking up on these signs. And that's where, again, it... It's hard. It's confusing because it's just, like... Yeah, men don't under, like, they're not processing it the correct way.